What's up smartphone filmmakers? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on the InShot video editor, the free version. I'll be covering everything you need to know, so that way after this video, you can get right to editing your videos. Now, I'll be doing this tutorial from my iPad, but don't worry, whether you're using an iPhone or an Android device, it's going to be the exact same experience with just a few differences here and there. I just prefer to use the iPad for this tutorial. So to start, we can click the video button, and that's going to open up our media that we can import. I'm going to go down to our video editing tutorial album, and I'm going to click on these clips to add them to our timeline. Once I've selected all the clips I want, in the bottom right corner, just click the check mark. That'll load all the clips into your timeline. Now, if for some reason you forgot to add certain video clips into your project, on the far left, you'll see that red plus button. If you click that, you can add more video clips into the timeline, uh, but I've got all the video clips I need, so we can just back out there. On a quick side note, you may be wondering why on earth I'm holding a flip phone in all these videos. And that is because I actually did a video uh, where I challenged myself to try and take cinematic photos on nothing but a flip phone. So if you're interested in watching that video, I'll link it down below. But yeah, that's why I'm holding a flip phone in all of these video clips. So if you want to rearrange the clips that you have imported into your timeline, simply hold down on the timeline and it'll turn all the video clips into these boxes that you can actually scroll around and move however you want and rearrange. If you want to trim a clip, simply touch on it and on either side of the clip you'll see those bars. Simply grab those and drag and that'll trim the clip. You can also trim a clip by positioning it wherever you want, then clicking the split button. This will slice the clip into two different clips and then just delete the other side that you don't want. If for some reason you accidentally make a mistake and you actually didn't want to delete the clip, on the left side there is a back button where you can just click and that'll reverse the mistake that you made. Now if we want to crop a certain clip, we can click on the video and then click Canvas. So in here we can change the ratio. So for example, if we want to upload to TikTok, we could change it to that, YouTube, Instagram, etc. But then you can also, in here, go to Zoom, and you can actually zoom in and crop however you want. There's also some presets down here that you can use. Uh, it's normally for the TikTok setting, but you could do full, uh, bottom, fit, top, uh, all these different settings there. And while in this, if you go actually to background, you can actually change the background to a different color, uh, a gradient, or even a weird emoji, you know, all these different patterns if you really want to add that uh, to your video. Now let's talk about transitions. In between both of these clips, you'll see there's that white button. If you click that, that's going to open up transitions. You have access to quite a few different basic transitions that you can use. Uh, there's also these paid transitions down here, but hey, we're staying with free. So anything on top, the basic transitions, uh, you can add to your video. And we're just going to click check and leave it as that. If you want to add text to your video, just select the clip that you want to add text to, then tap text, and you can start adding text. Once your text is set up, you can click the color button to change the color of the text. You can also change the font to whatever you want. And then these white circles is actually transitions. So you can have different transition effects uh, for your text. And you can also... Uh, change here on this bar how long the effect takes to uh, happen. So this is actually really cool. I actually love that you can have all these different transitions for the text. Now if you want to add music to your video, obviously just click the music button over here. We can add tracks, effects, or even record your own voiceovers. You'll also see on the left here the sticker icon. If you click on that, there's a few different GIFs here. Uh, but you can also go over here and add photos to the video. So for example here, I just added this photo. I can resize it, move it around wherever I want, or even click the X button and make it go away. Up next, let's take a look at adding filters. So to add a filter, just select the clip that you want to add a filter to and then click filters. There's a few options here. So effects is going to give you a few different effects that you can add. Uh, there's some free stuff, but a lot of it is paid. Uh, so we're not going to look at that. And then there's also 
the main filter area where you can just apply these different effects to your video. And then there's also, when you do that, you can determine how strong that filter is. You can align it just right. Then if you hop over to adjust, you can really mess with it. So you can change the lightness, the contrast, warmth. You really have a lot of control over your video. And this is something a lot of video editors don't have. Now, something else I want to mention, which is the same with a lot of the things here, you'll notice these two check marks on the far left side here. This means you can apply this effect to all the videos. So let's click that, apply to all. And now that color grading effect is applied to all the videos. So instead of having to click on every single video, you can click on those double check marks and it'll apply that effect to everything, which will save you more time. Other than that, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Delete will delete your clip. Volume is going to control your volume. Speed controls speed, duplicate, rotate, flip. You know, all those settings are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to show you those. And that covers our tutorial of the InShot video editor. Thanks for watching. Please give it a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.